Hey there, Danny K coming to you from Danny K Gym of Wellness. Today's tip is, as my uh, good friend Jeff says, breathe. Um, so uh, this whole week, if you've been following some of my shit, um, you know, it's just been like struggle after struggle or frustration after frustration. Um, today, actually, I woke up. It's a brand new day. I mean, it's just, it's amazing like what a day. I mean, yesterday I was like at my breaking point. Ask Jeff, <laughs> cause I was messaging. Dude, ah! So, um, but, um, so, you know, and then, you know, like I went to my Relay for Life meeting last night and I was just, I just cranked up some, you know, some share on the way home and was just like bebopping and dancing and all this stuff. So, that kind of, you know, like whatever that was, um, at, you know, in that evening, um, and then just feeling better, um, and ju it just kept going. Um, so whatever it was, whether it was the universe, whether, you know, just my prayers to God saying, oh my gosh, you know what, you know, I, give me the strength to get through it, but, you know, I just, you know, I, I don't, I try not to ask, how much more can I, you know, how much more can I take or how much more are you going to give me? Um, because there's this one, one thing, uh, back in the day before Facebook, what was there a day before Facebook? <laughs> um, it was an email and everybody was passing around this email. And I remember this and, and I kind of share this a lot of times with people when they ask God to take it off of their plate, to take it off of them. Um, I try and say, it, you to ask God to give me the strength to get through it because I know the next day or even halfway through that day something is going to change it's going to get better you just got to keep breathing and plugging along um, you can't let that and and we do like yesterday I let it control some of my day um, not really the day but kind of you know I was just kind of like eh. Yeah, you know, but then when somebody would come into the gym or whatever and I'd be able to talk, I'd forget about that and I'd be talking with them. And I, so, so personally I was okay, you, you know, or I guess day wise or whatever, I was okay. But when I was left alone, then I was, you know, going through in frustration in my mind and, you know, and then this happened and then shit, now I got to go do this. And then this guy, you know, my delivery guy, he, you know, forgot, you know, some stuff and it wasn't him. It was... The people that loaded his truck so it wasn't you know uh, it, it was just crazy so with that in mind that email back to that email um so there was a bunch of people uh, cartoon characters there's a bunch of people carrying this huge 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 cross okay and there's this one guy i mean everybody's trucking along like carrying it on their back or whatever and this one guy he just looked up to god and would you know stop and look up to him and say I, I don't have the strength to, to carry this cross anymore. Can you, you know, lighten my load? So he chopped part of the cross off. So he got a little bit further. Everybody else has still got their, you know, their big cross. But this guy, he's trucking along and he couldn't do it again. He looks up to God and he says, you know, hey, can you lighten my load? I can't, I'm not strong enough. Can you lighten my load? Take me, take me through this. <coughs> So it happens a couple of times in the in in you know in the in the cartoon. Then everyone gets to the end of like this cl uh, cliff or whatever, and there's a space, and then there's another cliff. Well, guess what everybody was able to do? Everybody was able to put their cross down and walk across their cross to the other side, and then they picked up their cross or they left it. I, it you know whatever but the moral of the story the guy kept asking God to lighten his load and when God chopped off some of his cross when he got to that space his cross wasn't big enough to fill that space to get to the other side so now he's the only one left over because he was asking God to lighten his load instead of asking for strength to carry his load he asked to lighten it so then he couldn't get to the other side so with that in mind, I always think of that. I always go back. And even if I catch myself saying, God, please take some of this off my plate. And I'm like, oh, no, wait a minute. <laughs> Just give me the strength to get through it. Because that shit that's there is shit that you probably need to get through to get to the other side.
That was deep, wasn't it? Wow. And I didn't do my, usually I do my tip of the day like a day before. But today, Friday, I didn't do my tip of the day before because I was just in that place yesterday where I just didn't feel like I wanted to do anything. I didn't have anything to share. So then I wake up today and I started thinking about that, you know, and I was like, you know what? I'm so glad that I did not ask to lighten my load, that I just asked for strength to get through it. Because guess what, I got through it, and I'm like dancing around, I'm singing. Today's a new day, today is good. I don't know what the hell happened or what. The only thing I can think of is God is great. And this wasn't, you know, a segment to, you know, preach the gospel or anything like that. Whatever your God is or whatever your higher power is, utilize this segment in that instance, you know, um, don't ask to get it lightened because what you need or what, what is there is, is nine times out of 10, I'm going to say 10 times out of 10, whether we like it or not, is what we need to get to the other side. So don't ask to have your load lightened or take it off of you or take that burden away. Ask to have the strength to get through it because then you're gonna get through it and it's gonna be so awesome. Today's an awesome day so far and I'm gonna try, you know, I'm gonna make it what, what, what I wanna make it and I wanna make it an awesome day. I've had frustration this whole week and I'm tired of that frustration. I'm tired of being like stuck in that, <clears throat> in that area, in that situation. Today's gonna be good. I'm running a little late. You know, like honestly, real time, it's 7.47. I, Slept in a little bit. I should have been here by seven, and then I slept in. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna sleep in till, and then uh, I'm just gonna get to the gym at 7:30. And I was here at 7:30, but I was chit chatting, and uh, I decided, oops, I forgot to do my daily tip of the day. So I did it, and you know what? I'm not even pissy that I'm, you know, run a little late. I just, I have this peace. I have this light. Um, just this light, kind of fun feeling within me, and uh, you know, I'm gonna, you know hopefully pray that it lasts throughout the whole day and that, you know, whatever it was through the week that, you know, I was put through is, is giving, it gave me the strength to get through it and get me to this, this good place today. And so I'm going to have a great day, you know? So ain't nothing going to stop. Ain't nothing going to put me down today. Um, not a challenge to see if somebody can put me down today. Just saying, I'm going to do my best to keep this going. And even if something gets thrown in to kind of detour me, I'm not going to, I'm not going to let it, let it hit me because Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I let it hit me today. I'm not going to let it hit me. I got this, I got this peace, this strength, and I'm glad that I asked for the strength to get through it and not take the load off of me. So, um, you know, that wasn't really a workout tip or anything, but it was, it was, it was a feel good tip. Um, it's, it's a tip that you can use, you know, even in your workouts, you know, if, if, um, you know, if I'm training you and you're like, oh, this weight's a little heavy, you know, can you lighten my load a little bit? If I lighten your load, you're not going to see the results that you want. So you can utilize that kind of, you know, um, scenario, um, uh, can't remember the word that I want to say. Um, um, but you can use that through life, through work, through working out. If you, if you ask to have your load lightened, you may not get to the point where you're supposed to get, it might just stop you. So don't ask to lighten the load. Just ask for the strength to get through it so that you reap the blessing on the other side. Once you get to wherever you're getting, you know, it's like, um, you, you got all the tools. Here's the tools. If you ask to lighten the load, your tools go away and then you don't have enough tools to get you to the other side. So take that tip, utilize it in whatever life, work, working out, whatever situation it does work. So, uh, hope you like it. Leave your comments. Tell me, tell me how this helped you. Um, and tell me what made me, maybe you thought about <clears throat> and, um, and or how you utilized this. So, uh, stay in tune, stay informed, stay motivated, be strong.